Good morning one. Welcome to another uh, series on Azure. Uh, so today I am going to introduce a new capability on uh, introduced by Microsoft team uh, on Azure called nested virtualization. Let's start with my small introduction myself uh, Kumar and uh, my basic uh, details are shared over a slide with one YouTube channel and you can visit my website called www.logicit.in uh, and in, in case you have specific queries you can shoot me email on vikas20035 at gmail.com and LinkedIn profile is also shared subscribe my YouTube channel and and uh, to get to know the new capabilities on on infrastructure stack so let's start with uh, with a new feature called nested virtualization on Azure so nested virtualization is the act of running a Hyper-V hypervisor inside a virtual machine effectively nested a virtual hypervisor within a hypervisor so in case you have a virtual machine on Azure and inside you are going to spin up a couple of hypervisor virtual machine uh, that capabilities is, is introduced uh, in July 2017 so nested virtualization can be useful for running multiple hypervisors on the same host server it is also an approach to learning about software product exp experimenting with server setup or testing configuration however uh, some of the hypervisor vendors do not support nested virtualization in a production environment uh, and all hypervisor and operating system version also uh, can't be run inside your nested virtualization so in terms of uh, Hyper-V uh, uh, nested virtualization uh, so Microsoft introduced this capability to, to specific VM size so the basic prerequisite is it should be a Windows Server 26 Hyper-V Azure VM and or it should be a Windows 10 uh, VM there is a specific series of virtual machine which is which is uh, DV3 and EV3 VM series it supported and that to be a specific region called West 2 US, East US, uh, Europe West and Asia Pacific uh, region. So these are the various uh, region it's supported. If you spin up a VM specific to Windows 2016 and Windows 10 and along with the specific region and specific VM size, uh, then only you nested virtualization is uh, supported and make sure that VM should be either uh, 2016 or Windows 10. So let me do one thing. I'm going to spin up a one uh, VM for you to show you how nested virtualization looks uh, and works inside this Azure. So I'm going to create one simple resource group uh, name nested virtualization, which is an East US. And going to spin up a 2016 uh, virtual machine with a simple name VM1 Onto existing resource group East US because East US is is my supported region where nested virtualization functionality is enabled and in this it should be a specific series which we discuss DV3 or EV3 size so I'll expand this uh, options and try to do it with EV3 series So E2S V3. So version 3 E series. So I'm going with a basic 2 CPU and 16 gigabyte virtual machine. I turn off this uh, NSG network security group so that there's a no firewall rule on this particular VM. Rest I'm going to make as a default and try to spin up this VM. Once the spin up is, VM is ready, 
I'll show you how to do it with Hyper-V and, and test this functionalities. So in terms of architecture of nested virtualization, nested virtualization you have uh, Azure hardware layer or you can say physical host uh, backend where uh, your operating system is running. On top in Azure it supported your hypervisor layer. So as soon as I install hypervisor layer, uh, hypervisor uh, role, it installed this uh, backend, uh, this thin layer which interact your physical hardware directly. That's automatically to use a virtual CPU uh, which is whatever the number of CPUs available in your physical uh, host and with the help of this virtual uh, CPU virtualization stack uh, you are going to to use a hypervisor service to to create a multiple VMs so physical OS physical OS should be you know physically uh, interact with your your hardware layer uh, on top of your OS so so this is two layers it's automatically created one is your physical os and one is virtualization stack which hits your uh, hypervisor layer so that's uh, you know a small introduction about about architecture of nested virtualization so in my case my my vm is up and running so if i click on my vm and uh, and try to try to connect with my public ip with my username with my password I'm going to install uh, hyper V server role inside this 2016 virtual machine. So if you see now as a properties, it's two cores, CPU, Xeon with 64-bit OS, 16 GB memory and Windows 2016 edition inside my Hyper-V uh, Azure VM. So now I'm going to install server roles. So role should be a Hyper-V role. Next, next, next. I have virtual uh, physical switch, physical NIC. You can add another physical NIC which you want to add into this Hyper-V as a virtual switches. So that physical external NIC switch uh, can get internet inside your VM as a production uh, NIC. So right now I don't want this uh, production NIC, so I'm not going to select. Later on I can I can create another virtual switch in case it's required. And simple install. After this installation, it asks for a reboot. And once we reboot it, we'll come back. We'll see how nested virtualization works inside Azure VM. So after Azure uh, Hyper-V installation in Azure VM, uh, so I'm going to reboot this machine. So restart is pending, and once it come back with this reboot, we'll we'll see you know how it works. So you see now my public IP, which I'm continuously pinging to target to 52.168.74.122 is is dropped a couple of times to for reboot, and then once it's come back. So let's see, we'll try to connect once again after Hyper-V uh, configuration reboot.
so technically backend it asks you to reboot two times so if you see you know normal communication and then four or five timeout one reboot and then again uh, first uh, timeout and then second timeout means second reboot so to re reboot is generally required in hyper-v so uh, back to my vm Open your server manager. And try to open my Hyper-V manager. So you can create your virtual switches external, internal as, as per your requirement. Right now I am going to create a private switch. As a demo and going to spin up a test VM generation one one gigabyte memory target to my demo switch and default OS I'm not going to install opening system right now and we'll see whether Hyper-V VM is up and running and going to start. So see now. So 52.168.74.122 Azure VM and then inside this Azure VM I am going to easily successfully running a test VM. So and if you see now this is same VM. So standard E2 version 3 so E series version 3 is supported you know and that's what we discuss in theoretical part and the public IP is 52.168.74.122 so if you open my powerpoint presentation so E2 E series version 3 and D series version 3 is also supported with specific region so in my case I'm using into East US region so I hope this uh, this new capability is informative for you so keep watching keep subscribing uh, IT trainings logic IT.in thank you very much